All right, what's going on YouTube? Today's topic of the video is going to be about World War II. You see on the screen right now is some Call of Duty 3 gameplay. I would upload World at War, but I'm just not not feeling the whole vibe of World at War. I just never really liked it. It's got a really nasty vibe to it. I don't know. All right, guys, so you guys need to step off the hype train for just a second and hear me out on something. I'm trying to fix my socks. All right, try to hear me out on something here. We need to step off the hype train and look at this a little bit. Uh, we need to look at this without our nostalgia glasses for a second, okay? Look at World War II and see what it truly offers. Right now, we're just being hammered over the head with boots in the ground, boots in the ground, boots in the ground. Because that's all we wanted, basically. But since we had... All right, we've had jetpack cods for uh, three years. One of each dev, and then um, Ghost before that, okay, which is a boots on the ground COD, but it's not, it's Ghost. So since we've been away from boots on the ground COD, or Call of Duty in general, like a good, good traditional Call of Duty that we can actually call COD, Jetpack CODs are not COD, they do not play anything similar to a COD, it's a totally different game. Even Karma kind of stated something on, like that on Twitter a few days ago. About how they're completely different games and if you don't think somebody is going to be really good at it or really bad at it transitioning from a jetpack to a boots on the ground you're wrong i can agree not just because i want to call everybody a jetpacker when we look at world war ii with what it truly offers to me personally imo it's not that much all we're getting is boots on the ground keep burping uh, all we're getting is boots on the ground Pretty traditional score streak layout. Uh, perk system is perks are not gone. They're rearranged and they're renamed and recategorized. That's all that is. Some BS. But instead of uh, like a division and training, you know, perks are separate. Like you get three perks in one of each. Like they're categorizing them and grouping them up and then calling them something else. Perks are not gone. They're still there. Which I'm actually kind of concerned about because some of the basic trainings. So the way I was confused how divisions works because I thought you can have certain trainings on certain divisions. Because, you know, there's kits, which is your, uh, like, bayonet, or the, um, sub players get that suppressor, just some useless stuff. And divisions is the actual, it's basically, like, three perks, and you have trainings, which is another three perks. Now, I thought you could only have a certain training on a certain division, which is not true. You can have any training on any division, but you can only have a certain division on each kit kind of thing. Alright, so right here we have, there's a basic training called smoke. Extra lethal and a smoke is a tactical. It's two grenades and a smoke. Imagine, not even competitive, I'm a competitive player. Usually when I talk down or up to a game, it's because I'm looking at it at a competitive standpoint. Even then, if I'm looking at this, I'm going to hop on. I'm just a uh, casual player hopping on for some pubs. Like you got kids running around with two lethals, chunking them as soon as they spawn in a smoke. And the smokes are OP as hell in this game so far. Granted, it is an alpha, which by the way, it's probably the best, most polished off alpha I've probably ever seen. Which I'll give them that. But the smokes like are crazy powerful and they don't plan on changing them anytime soon. Because they're so convinced by the war mode and it works well in war mode. Okay, so another basic training I'm concerned about is scoped. Move faster when ADS, extra attachment on primary. Stock and primary gunfighter basically combined. And you can use any training on any division. So I'm obviously going to use that training on AR because stock on AR is, you know, it's incredible. It's crucial. And especially extra attachment. And I've been playing BO2 a lot. So that's just going to carry over to World War II. That's my plan for that. But at the same time, you have these sub players that are used to playing BO3. And on BO3, you had stock on subs. And personally, stock on subs is what ruined that game for me. Because it, it was just so unfair. It became so... That's just another discussion. Whatever. Basically, you have all these sub players that are probably going to either use smoked or scoped. Either one of them doesn't sound fun at all. Because if they have stock and a sub in a world war 2 game an automatic submachine gun in ar i'm not going to have an automatic ar unless the stg is just the most obviously like the most powerful ar in the game which it probably isn't because world at war for example stg wasn't that good it took so many bullets to kill people it was the only automatic ar in the whole game 
but it was terrible. The best the best AR in World at War was the M1A1. If you're uh, if you remember that rifle, that was a more compact version, double the magazine, uh, double the rate of fire of an M1 Garand. It was a it was a finger blaster. Now, I don't know if they'll it'll, if it'll be like that in World War II. So we gotta look at as we have all these submachine gun players running around strafing everywhere with a automatic submachine gun with like probably extended clips because it's usually the traditional thing and submachine guns nowadays especially in a world war ii game because you're not going to use a red dot on an mp40 and a tommy gun because those actually have like one of the best sights cods had in a while i guess except for the msmc and Maybe the VMP. It was pretty good on the VMP. Either one of those sound enjoyable, period. Of course, you have, um, basically, at this point, all the rest of the basic training is just irrelevant. It's just a bunch of random stuff that's not going to be even utilized in pubs, honestly. Again, to look at everything from a competitive standpoint, but even in pubs, seems like most people aren't even going to use a bunch of this stuff. Okay, another thing I talk about every year when Call of Duty is coming out, and I'm one of those kids that tweet the uh, game devs about the TTK. TTK is time to kill. It seems so important to me because you have a game like BO2, which is like the gold standard of Call of Duty. This is like one of the best competitive, maybe even pubs, Call of Duties we've had ever. If you disagree with me, let me know what COD you're talking about in the comments below. I'd be interested to uh, have a discussion or a debate about it. I'm down, Just keep it friendly, keep it respectable. So you have BO2, best Call of Duty ever made, so or made so far, because there is potential to do better than that it's a simple formula one of the reasons is so good besides it's disciplinary gunfights awesome maps and finally the ttk the time to kill is huge on that game and i know it's not it was not meant to be like that the games the health there the ttk in the game and bo2 is um it's that high because the bullet reg was that terrible in the game but it kind of benefited with the game because it took gun skill to win gunfights and jump shots drop shots all that kind of stuff made a difference in gunfights and watching the gameplay from e3 fools were cooking everybody like people were getting imploded like it was ghost ttk or mwr ttk mwr ttk is lower than ghost ghost is, does not look that bad at all after playing MWR. It's not even because the M16 is that powerful because every gun melts in that game. You literally just one burst people across the map, two bullet people across the map, map people with MP5s, map people with fucking the 74. It's it's bad. That's what ruined MWR for me and a lot of people because it doesn't play anything like COD 4 because COD 4 had terrible bullet wreck too. It had high TTK. Well, Actually, the TTK was designed to be lower. The bullet rag was terrible, so it kind of balanced it back up to a high overall time to kill. And another thing that I'm going to transition over to is the player speed. Player speed looks ridiculously high. When you have the Pathfinder 3 division training on, the player speed looks absolutely, absurdly, ridiculously fast. Like, it is no joke, stupid fast. Imagine having that with the basic training of, uh, fuck, what was that called? So the division training Pathfinder 3 has all three of the speed perks of Call of Duty. Longer sprint, dexterity, faster sprint, okay? Imagine having Pathfinder 3 on a submachine gun class. So you, since you have a submachine gun, it's already gonna be faster than your normal like player with any other gun except for shotgun. Shotgun's always the fastest, FYI. But um, imagine having Pathfinder 3 and this uh, scoped basic training, which is stock extra attachment. It's literally just going to be VMPs with stock all over again. Maybe even worse, submachine guns are basically the only automatic weapons that w will be used in like a competitive standpoint. And submachine guns are always used the most as well. And they're going to be used even more in World War II because there's no automatic ARs. There's only one automatic AR the whole game. Nobody's going to use LMGs. It's going to be banned and competitive unless you're some casual player that works all the time and gets on like once or twice a week. They're inexperienced players. They're just trying to have fun on Call of Duty. They're not playing for the win or anything like that. So I'm just overall concerned about what the alpha has showed us. Although, like I said before, this is the most polished off, beautiful, alpha i've seen out of any alpha or any call of duty alpha or any like video game alpha period which i'll give them props to that and they have a lot more they have many months to perfect everything uh as far as balancing putting more into the graphics some, for some reason i have a feeling when the game's going to be complete sniping is going to feel a little bit like bo1 sniping i don't know why that or why i think that um i just have that feeling 
we just have to see when the game comes out see how they balance everything change everything visually guys thank you for having this discussion with me in this video if you have any disagreements or agreements with what i stated or you could just let me know your opinion in the comments below over the matter in general like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one